As we see states start to relax stay at home orders and increase antibody testing, the WHO is issuing a warning about using that testing to issue what's been called immunity passports. Nine health expert Dr. Paul Coley joins us right now to go over this. Good morning, Dr. Coley. So first of all, what is immunity passport and uh, why would we want to issue one? So Natasha, as the cases in the United States approach a million, experts like Dr. Fauci have actually said that this could be a real possibility. And essentially what it is is documentation that you've had the infection, that you have antibody tests, and that you can presumably go back to work or relax social distancing. What's the risk with an immunity passport? So it makes a ton of assumptions. The first assumption is that the test is accurate, that you're actually getting the right result. The second assumption is that the antibody actually gives you immunity, which we know for a fact may not actually happen. Firstly, you may not have the right type of antibody. You need something called a neutralizing antibody. Second, you may not have the right number of antibodies. You need a threshold to really have immunity. And the third, we don't know how long the immunity lasts. So you can imagine if you issue this passport, allow these people to go back to work and potentially relax social distancing, this could actually increase risk, not just to them, but to those that they come into contact with. And in places like New York, where 21% of people are testing positive in the city for the antibody, this could have real implications for causing potentially another surge when people are not immune. And so for this reason, the WHO has actually issued a warning that having the antibody does not necessarily mean you have immunity because we have no scientific evidence of mm -hmm. that yet. Yeah, so much is still uh, premature. Uh, you know, what do we know about immunity to COVID-19 so far? Yeah, so a very new virus with only four to five months of data. So we really have very limited knowledge. We do know a few things, however. There was a small study that told us that about 70% of people actually mount a robust or strong antibody response in response to the virus infection. 25% uh, mount a weak response, and about 5 to 6% have no appreciable antibody response um, after they get the infection. We also know a little bit about the duration, not so much based on this current virus, but based on cousin viruses like other coronaviruses and the SARS and the MERS virus. So with other coronaviruses that cause the cold, we know that the antibodies can last about a year. With the SARS virus, we saw that it was about two years before they start to wane or go down. And with MERS, we thought it was about three years. So putting all that together, we do believe, just like Dr. Fauci says, that the antibodies do confer some degree of protection. But as you can imagine, issuing people immunity, immunity passports that allows them to kind of freely mingle, if we're not entirely convinced mm -hmm. that, that they're fully protected, could really cause a huge surge. Yeah, can be dangerous. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for breaking that down.